Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. I am Victor Torvix, and I'm here again um, to talk about, you know, my spiritual journey. But this video is not about my spiritual journey. This video is about another man's spiritual journey and some of the obstacles he faced. Um, a couple of months ago, I was on YouTube, and YouTube kept recommending this video. It's by this dude called Krista Casual. This really cool blue logo. And I thought, okay, it looks cool. I put it on my watch later list, and I didn't get a chance to get to it, but it looked pretty cool. And then I was watching, I was watching Ward Radio and they mentioned him. And I thought, okay, that sounds familiar. I went through, watched some of his videos, pretty cool guy, started watching, started commenting. Then I had this divine Holy Spirit prompting to kind of do it myself. And I thought, you know what, it's a great way to read the Book of Mormon, share my thoughts, um, you know, share thoughts to others and also reach out. My personal mission is to bring the Gospels to Australia. Australia is very much in a difficult time morally, and now economic factors are coming in. And I feel that the best outcome for my country is to turn to Christ, for them to join the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, or even if they don't, to learn the lessons and the wisdoms that the Church entails, and that in turn will benefit all people. That as a society, we're better off in the Church and around the Church than without the Church. Religion is very taboo culturally in Australia. There are also various restrictions on our freedom of speech in relation to what we can and cannot say. Um, more, it's in line with the UK, um, less so like in the United States. So, you know, I had to be careful about it, speaking about certain issues. But overall, you know, reading the Book of Mormon online is fine. I, I checked. <laughs> I checked. I was that nervous. Anyway, so I thought, you know what? Great idea. Study. Great way to prompt me to study the Book of Mormon. So I watched a few of his videos and I started reading the Book of Mormon myself and I posted a few videos, reading the articles of faith and so on. I've had a great time. I've learned so much about myself. I found that I, I look forward to making these videos. I get to dive into scriptures and, you know, I tag Chris Casual once in a while. I'd share his channel. He very kindly shared mine. So I saw a video yesterday where he was, he posted and basically he very kindly tagged me, which is how I came to know of it. And basically he's saying that he was he's privated all his Book of Mormon videos and he's going to start Genesis and he's going to read the Bible. Fantastic. To be honest, fair enough. You've got to walk your own journey. I support him no matter what. Chris, if you're watching, you're my brother. Um, I support you. I respect you. You inspired me to do this and you'll always have my gratitude. And I think everyone's journey is different. And if that's what you need to do to find where you stand spiritually, I, I'm here to support you and I respect that. He also commented something that was very disappointing. He commented that when he posted a video about Book of Mormon and he had some some criticisms, or not many criticisms, let's say questions, some questions or some areas which he was struggling with, he says he really, really received some negativity, some backlash. This disappointed me. That is not the church that we're members of. If a young man explores the church, we praise him. And if the young man has questions, we answer them. We do not put him down or insult him or attack him or belittle him. And I could see in that video he was offended and he was hurt. Um, he's a tough guy. He can handle it. But that's not the point. I look like I'm being interrogated. I'm going to do <laughs> this. Um, I want to come out right now and saying that I think those comments criticizing him were completely un unfair and unfounded. Um, it is a public media. People have the right to, to speak. But members of the church also have responsibility to be like Christ. And I don't think attacking a man for not reading the Book of Mormon or having questions about certain aspects is appropriate. Now, could I have misinterpreted the situation? Potentially. Are there factors that I don't know about? Perhaps. I, I'm, I'm as human as everyone else. Um, but the fact that he stated he had people attacking and criticizing or belittling him because there are factors about Joseph Smith, which he didn't agree with, um, that's, that's, in my opinion, not acceptable. Um, I've made a video recently. I'm essentially directed towards him talking about polygamy. Um, I did my best not to attack him because it wasn't my intent. It was to answer questions and explain stuff as I understood it um, about his concerns. Um, I made it very clear throughout the video that I wasn't attacking him, that I love him, he's my brother, and I was just trying to answer questions. Um, that is how we approach people. Um, we live in a world, we live in a fallen world where there's so much nonsense, so much filth. Anyone who's been on Twitter, which I'm on obsessively, we have constant people from Christianity, you know, evangelicals and, uh, and had a guy saying he was a confessing Christian who called me a member of a pagan cult. Um, that was fun to read. 
we have enough enemies in the world without turning on our own. Um, and I hope that your behavior, those who went out there and, and lashed him for, you know, not doing what you think was appropriate is not acceptable in my opinion. Um, I believe that we should be welcoming and understanding. People have questions, we should answer them. If they choose to step back, of course, we should explain things and try to answer their questions. But at all times, we should be respectful. We must be like Christ. It's fine to speak out against uh, certain things, uh, certain issues, which for Australian legal reasons I'm not going to discuss. But I don't think it's appropriate that we make anyone feel uncomfortable. And that's what I my impression from his video was. Um, Chris, you are welcome on my channel and you can talk to me anytime you want. I support you and I respect you and I thank you for standing up and reading the Book of Mormon. There wasn't anyone else doing what you were doing, at least not like a normal run-of-the-mill guy like me. And seeing a guy like me, another guy, another gamer, <laughs> another nerd out there reading the Book of Mormon, whether you remember or not, was inspiring to me. And no matter what you choose, I respect you, I support you, and I'd love to, if you feel comfortable sometime in the future when things are settled down, I'd love to get you on Zoom. And let's have a, let's have a Zoom chat, brother, because I can't fly to the US and I don't think your fiance <laughs> wanted you fly to Australia right after in, getting engaged. And congratulations again, by the way. So I'd love to have a Zoom chat in, in a couple of weeks when everything's kind of settled and talk about your experience and what you, what you went through, your thoughts. Um, and if you don't feel comfortable, that's also okay. I respect that. Um, I just felt like I needed to say something because I didn't think it was fair that he were all so happy when he reads the Book of Mormon, but when he hits an obstacle, I'm sure many people are supportive. I know a few fans that we that share interest in my channel and Chris's channel, and they're lovely, they're amazing, they're blessings, and God bless them. Um, there are a few people who get a bit too excited and may have misspoke or misunderstood or blatantly attacked him, and that's not acceptable. Um, we have to be positive and supportive. We have to understand. He wasn't attacking us or insulting us. He was expressing his thoughts and his opinions. Again, my interpretation of the video I watched. God bless you, Chris. Um, I know you're going to be around. I'm going to keep watching your channels. I'm going to keep watching your videos on your channel. I hope you hang around here as well. Um, I think it's hilarious. When he tagged me, he, he commented and he said, uh, you know, he's got an Australian accent, which is an unfair advantage, which is hilarious because here in Australia, we love American accents. That's why the missionaries are always so popular. Uh, <laughs> I had two missionaries over last night. One was a Fijian guy and one was a Utah, uh, Utah native. And um, I said native, I mean, he's from Utah. Okay, just to be clear. Um, and it was fantastic. The great chat, talking about stuff. Uh, my wife is discussing baptism, so the, talking about stuff, going through the questions of baptism, which I think I'm making a video about in the future. And just going through that, and it was fantastic. And I'm like, how global is the church? I've got a young uh, native Fijian guy and a, a native, I know you guys, America's a bit funny with the word native, and a, a local Utah teaching me an Australian of European heritage and my Filipino wife about the gospel of Jesus Christ and the church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Like, to me, that's brilliant. That's that's fantastic. That's a church I want to be a part of, where we all unite around the gospel, not hate, not uh, not malign, not put down. Uh, I'm going to end this video with a prayer, and then I'll be making another video straight after <laughs> reading the Book of Mormon. I didn't want to go into the book reading with any negativity. Um, I wanted to get this video out as a separate, independent video. Um, if you guys are watching this point, please go through support Christy Casual. He's reading the Bible. He's just currently doing, oh, where is he up to? Genesis, I think, is, is giving Genesis a crack. I think he's starting from the beginning and fair call to him. Anything that is good is part of our faith. I'm paraphrasing Brigham Young. Um, anything that is good and is knowledgeable is part of our faith. I'm paraphrasing, not the exact quote, but um, please look it up, post it down below. Um, if you think I've misread the situation, you think I've misunderstood, if you think I've been unfair, post the comments down below. I, I want to hear it. I want to discuss it. Let's talk about this. But I want to end this video by saying that Krista Casual inspired me to do these videos. I've learned so much. I've learned so much about the gospel. It's inspired me. Um, I'm praying to work. I'm praying back uh, on the way back. To, um, sorry. I'm praying on the way to work. I'm praying on the way back, asking for guidance and for wisdom. Um, when I read these and I have to kind of explain myself, you learn more when you teach others than when you just absorb. So that's always fantastic. Um, and I just want to know that Chris and everyone else that's watching, that has read the Book of Mormon and is stepping away from the Book of Mormon or stepping away from the church, you're always welcome back. You're always blessed. You're always loved by God. You'll always be welcome in my church. 
Um, literally, you would actually be welcome to my church. We love having visitors. Visitors are always welcome in my church. Hopefully, to those watching, visitors are welcome in yours as well. And I'm going to end with a prayer. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, I thank you for the opportunity to come here online this afternoon and speak to my brothers and sisters around the world. I ask you, Heavenly Father, to bless my friend Chris, uh, Chris the Casual, as he's known on YouTube, Heavenly Father, and all others who are seeking to understand you, to read your Gospels, and to to learn the wisdom, and to and to seek you in their lives. Lord, I ask you to to bless them and to guide them whatever path they take, to keep them in your arms, Heavenly Father, to help them, to guide them and encourage them and fill them and fuel them with the Holy Spirit. Let that fire of learning and understanding rage through them and guide them down your path, Heavenly Father. And whether they choose to join us in the church or just, you know, walk alongside us, they will always be welcome amongst us, Heavenly Father. And I ask you to bless Chris the Casual. I ask you to bless his, his amazing fiance. I ask you to bless all the viewers, the brothers and sisters who are watching this channel to guide them and fill them with knowledge of, of uh, reading the Gospels and learning the Scriptures and going to church and, uh, and putting their shoulder to the wheel in the building of Zion, Heavenly Father. And I ask you this, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I'm not the best prayer, but I think I got the message across. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. God bless. And um, like I said in the prayer, go to church, read the Gospels. A lot to learn. Thank you. Bye.